So, welcome to episode four of On The Park. Obviously, we all know the year is 2022. <laughs> Where has that time gone? Uh, this is now, uh, what you're going to see is video from some of it. I'm just looking now. Uh, we actually shot in 2020. Uh, so, yeah, where's time gone? Uh, we're hoping to get back onto episodes. It's somewhere in the middle as well. You'll see that time dots all over the place. We've lost a camera um, with or an SD card with all stuff on, hours of footage. So some of it's from 2020, some's from 2022, and some's from 2021. But it's still, it's still all good watching. It's still all about what goes on on the park. So take a look at this. This is episode four of On The Park with Browns and St. Michaels. Don't forget to like and subscribe and tell all your friends about On The Park as well. Gives you a bit of an insight, especially in this episode, uh, of, of, of what... There's a lot of unexpected, I'll tell you that. Roll the tape. So, we are uh, August the 19th on the Caravan Park and uh, many people say, well, what do you do in the summer? We're open, yeah, uh, the sun generally shines. Well, not today. Well, today you will see what we are doing on the park, uh, which will give you a bit of an insight of sometimes when things go wrong, you just have to do what is needed. Have a look at this. because he lost 5p I'm gonna find it in this drain So here we are, another day in paradise. Unfortunately, it's raining at the moment, but uh, another toilet and another story. Uh, so if you have a look at this one, you'll notice the toilet's got a hairline crack in it. Uh, we went as far as changing the quick fit bend on the back of it. Um, and then uh, we noticed that there was a crack and it's so hard to spot, but have a look at this and follow us on the job of changing a toilet in a caravan again. So as you can see, the damage to the wood it's been actually leaking for quite a long time so I'll put a new quick fit bend on it and then uh, basically customers said that the floors actually damaged below but it's obviously been weeping for ages so I reckon that the minute I take this toilet out it's probably just gonna fall to bits because you can see that little hairline crack I only spotted it because of the little black mark that you've got there basically the toilet isn't leaking at present but if you flush it so it, it, it the great thing is it, it's a fresh water leak um, but basically inside the system it's uh, inside, inside the pan so it's a fresh water leak so that's one good thing but anyway let's get it out shall we now we've got the toilet out we can have a bit of a closer inspection of the actual crack which is there, which has caused the leak. So yeah, the pan has cracked all the way around. There, which has caused the leak. Somebody's tried to silicon it at some stage, thinking it was the uh, cryptic bend. But you'll see now, this leak hasn't been spotted for a while. So where the lino's been, you can see straight away this has been a leak for quite a long time and not been spotted by the owner if it had been spotted I don't think the floorboards would have gone as bad as that uh, but a good sign that you may have a leak is obviously wet floors but the other thing is to look out for is rusty screws believe it or not 
if the screws start to rust on the bottom of your uh, toilet it could be a sign or if they snap and shear like these ones had obviously rotten but anyway let's get the new one in so all fitted fine and dandy uh, the isolation valve on the back you only have to look at them and they leak so I managed to get it sorted but yeah a brand new toilet already gonna leave the liner up there as the customer left it like that uh, let the wood dry out good call but brand new toilet all done with uh, the uh, upgraded toilet seat yeah posh toilet seat see slow close see I just think of my customers you know and went for the one toilet seat up takes a long time to close though <laughs> Welcome to uh, another, well, warm day on the North Wales coast. This time in the winter, rain, wind. Uh, we've just had storm, well, I've forgotten the name of them. There's that many of them. Uh, but today's to be quite exciting. That's what I've had in the winter. Not a lot of people actually see this as well. Uh, take a look at this. Some people, they say when they need a caravan craning, they'll say, oh, you know, you've got to lift it over there. But if you see the work that's being involved here, these are just the pads to protect the tarmac. I've just lifted off the spreader bars. I, I, I don't, I don't know. They're going to make an assessment when, uh, when the van arrives, when the caravan arrives, they're going to make an assessment on the wind. But I tell you what, it's squally here now at the moment, as you can see behind me. That hook is a swinging. I, I wouldn't like to be lifting the caravan in this. No, no, I I'm going to speed it. I don't, I don't know. Maybe we should stand out of the way and keep the, keep the guys coming out. Look. Big shout out to local clothing. <laughs> Felix has joined us now. We're just through the final bits and bobs. <laughs> well, looks like the uh, the weather has given us a break because we look ready to go. Not very often you see a caravan in the air. Just gonna sit it down there for a minute. Uh, 
van's been left without people for a, you know, quite a long time. It takes a bit of time, everyone comes down. Generally, today we open on a Wednesday, we always open on a Wednesday. And the reason for that, a lot of people don't know this, the reason for it is if you open on a weekend, the surge of people, especially in the cold, um, it, it's, it's, I suppose it's called like a soft opening. Uh, by opening on a Wednesday, it gives you a chance uh, to, to to get, you know, whatever ready for the weekend. You know, if people come down, they find there's an issue with the boiler or something. You know, it gives two days for the trades to, even though the whole of the town opens on a Wednesday, the park opened. So it's not a great day weather-wise to, to start. I wish we'd opened yesterday, really, because the weather was absolutely stunning yesterday. Uh, this is what I call the gateway to North Wales. I spin you round. So normally here, our visitors would be greeted with uh, the sight of Snowdonia, possibly all the way into the valley, uh, just coming down Riaft Hill. And um, it, it's not there today. <laughs> so let's hope for this weekend. It's been a, yeah, it's been a, a short winter, but a long old one as well. Uh, we've had the renovations in the club. I uh, haven't done much video because we've been busy. Uh, we've got four new bases down on St. Michael's. We've had concrete going in there. I should have been videoing it all, but you know, we've had a crane lift the caravan over the fence. Okay, so we're back. Yes, this is now, I think, episode four of On The Park. It's been a long while. Uh, so please do excuse um, if you, you notice different hair colors different hairstyles, different lengths, and no continuity at all in this video. Uh, basically, it's catching up with all the footage I've been recording uh, over the last 18 months to get something out there for the bar. 